How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. So today I'll be showing you guys how to set up and use ExpressVPN on a Mac device. So if you just got an ExpressVPN subscription and you want to know how the app works, or if you want to see what it has to offer before committing to a subscription, this video will give you everything you need to know about ExpressVPN. So let's get started. If you don't have an Express subscription and want to get one to set it up and follow along, all you need to do is go to the official ExpressVPN website click on get VPN and choose one of these three subscriptions fill out your payment method and then you'll be redirected to this page right here where you can choose which platform to download Express on in this case it's gonna be Mac oh and by the way if you'd like to save some money off these subscriptions you'll find a discount link in the description down below just click on it and it'll take you to this page right here with the discount already applied now once the app has been downloaded just follow the installation wizard guide and it's pretty much gonna be smooth sailing from here. There's a couple of agrees and continues and then you'll have the app set up in no time. So I've got the app set up already. Let me show you how everything works. First, we've got this home screen right here and then there's this big on off button right here in the middle. If you're not looking to connect to any specific server and just wanna work while protected by the VPN, you can just click it and it'll connect you to the best possible server based on speed and distance and latency thanks to this smart location feature over here. Right next to smart location, you're gonna have the most recent VPN server you've connected to. So if you frequently connect to the same country, you can just click on it and it'll connect you to that country. Then right above this, you've got the location bar, which shows which country you'll connect to if you press the on button and if you want to change that you just click on the three dots over here which will open up this location menu so you've got the recommended location which express thinks you might want to be connected to and if you click all locations you'll find some drop down regions over here so let's say you want to connect to a uk server you can click on europe and then click on the united kingdom and you'll see the location changes in the home page and if we connect to the uk right here you'll notice that express takes almost less than a second to fully connect to the VPN server and that's one of the many things I like about Express as it's very high in performance like regardless of what you're doing be it starting the VPN or connecting to the VPN server as opposed to most VPNs out there that kind of launch slowly and take quite a while to connect to the server and by the way, if you want to have a list of favorite countries you frequently connect to, there's a star next to the country name you can click on, which adds that country to your list of favorites. And you'll find this list next to the recommended tab over here. All right. So basically, that's the gist of what you'll be doing around 99% of the time while using Express is just select a country, click the button, and that's basically it. But to give a clearer picture on everything Express has to offer, let's take a small tour to see some of the settings. So to open the settings menu, you're just going to click on the three bars on the top left, then click on options. Over here, you're going to find several tabs. So let's go through them one by one. Starting with the general section, you're going to have some startup options, and these are mostly personal preferences. So you can customize this section to your liking, but then right under it, you're going to find the network lock section. And this is what's commonly known as the kill switch, which is probably the most important feature to have in a VPN. So this kill switch, what it does is that it immediately severs your internet connection whenever you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. And by doing this, it would prevent any of your data or activity from leaking over to your internet service provider or government or anyone else trying to snoop in on your connection during a moment of vulnerability. It's on by default but I do recommend checking whether or not it's active before starting to use the VPN just in case. So that's it for this section. Right next to it is the account menu where you manage your account information and settings. This is mostly a you thing so let's skip ahead to advanced protection because here you've got a couple of cool options that could come in handy especially if you're frequently online accessing different websites and whatnot and that's because it has an ad blocker, a tracker blocker and it also blocks malicious sites. So you can sort of consider it a safety net. Besides that, you can also use this feature like a mini parental control tool because you can also block malicious websites from the VPN connection, which is a cool plus. So moving on to protocols, you've got auto, lightweight, and open VPN options. If you want the fastest speeds possible while using the VPN, I recommend you set the VPN on lightweight UDP and activate lightweight turbo because this protocol competes for first place for the fastest protocol out there in competition with Nordlinks from NordVPN. 
happen. But if for whatever reason the protocol was not compatible with the server you're trying to connect to, then you can simply switch it back to auto and it'll choose the best protocol in that situation for you. As for the other protocols, they're niche and are mostly situational. So I recommend either setting it on lightweight or auto instead. Now, right next to the protocols, we've got shortcuts, and this would add a list of websites to access the moment you connect to the VPN server. Just a cool quality of life feature, but nothing too big to talk about. And finally, we've got the browsers page for setting up the ExpressVPN connection to your favorite browser. So that's pretty much it for how to use the VPN and some of the settings you might benefit from while doing your regular online activities. But before we wrap up this video, I want to quickly point out a couple things Express is capable of that you might be interested in. For starters, because all of ExpressVPN's servers have obfuscation technology, all of them would allow you to access any streaming service that you want without issue, unlike the majority of VPNs nowadays. And that's because unlike regular encrypted connections, that streaming service firewalls can easily reject, obfuscated servers make your traffic look completely normal and then you can easily find your way around these firewalls and because ExpressVPN has a huge network of over 3,000 servers in 105 countries you can access any streaming service or library from around the world and this is not exclusive to just streaming services by the way it also extends to any website that's not available in your region and even works with game launchers like Steam and online video games. All you have to do to access something that's not available in your region is simply connect to a server in the country where it's located and that's about it. And second of all, ExpressVPN has a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive it for 30 days, see how it works for you. And then you can claim a full refund if you were not satisfied with the service. But I do doubt you'll reach that point because Express is genuinely one of the best VPNs out there, be it about performance or features, speed, security, and ease of use. And so that's pretty much all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to know more details about ExpressVPN, I've got in-depth reviews in the description down below too, alongside the special discount if you're interested in getting yourself an ExpressVPN subscription. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.